Have you been studying just on tape? I mean, what, what are your impressions of him as a fighter? Uh, I'm not impressed at all. No. You know, none of the, none of his opponents ever brought the fight to him like I'm gonna do. Taong 2012, apat na buwan bago ang kauna-unahang laban sa world title, sinagupan ng tinaguriang gerero ng Philippine Boxing na si Mercito Hesta ang palabang US boxer na si Ty Barnett. Ang boksingerong hindi bilib sa kakayahan ni Mercito Hesta, kahit pa nagtala ito ng 25 sunod na panalo at walang katalo-talo. Si Barnett ay isang orthodox fighter. Nasa panahong ito ay may 20 panalo, kabilang ang 13 panalo mula sa knockout isang tabla at dalawang talo. Bago pasukin ng professional boxing, isang matagumpay na amateur boxer si Barnett. Kaya naman hindi ito bilip sa kung anong merong kakayan ng ating kababayan. At sinabing siya lang ang makapagbibigay ng magandang laban sa Pinoy fighter. Have you been studying just on tape? I mean, what, what are your impressions of him as a fighter? Uh, I'm not impressed at all. No. You know, none, of the, none of his opponents ever brought the fight to him like I'm a deal. Ang laban ay naganap sa Texas Station Casino sa Las Vegas, Nevada. Na isang non-title fight at magsisilbing tiket ng Pinoy para sa isang world title na bakbakan. Balikan natin ang naging laban ng ating kababayan sa nagyabang na US boxer na hindi bilib sa kung anong meron talento ang ating pambato at alamin kung paano pinatahimik sa mga panahong ito ni Marcito Hesta ang kanyang mga kritiko sa boxing. I heard Nady uh, mention to Barnett, how can I see your belly button if your trunks are that high when he was checking the trunks there? To see where the belt lines would be. No, it's, it's right. He's, he has it. You mean he's not later stages Oscar De La Hoya wearing it up to the third rib on the edge? Unang round pa lang nagpakitang gilas na ang Pinoy na si Marcito Hesta. Pagkamat lamang sa taas at haba ng braso ang US fighter, sugido naman kung magpatama ng suntok ang ating pambato. Time, he has to put combinations together. Time Barnett tried to bring the right hand to the body. Next week, our main event on Friday Night Fights. Barnett checked in at 135 and a half. Remember, he's the taller fighter. He has three inches on Hesta. Hesta at 5'7 checked in at 137. A reminder, you see it on the screen right there. Friday Night Fights Facebook page. You can do the live voting there. The left hand by Hesta. Hesta has got champ on him here. By this one. By this one, he's got Sa round 2, mas agresibo na makapagpalitan ng suntok si Barnett. Pero dahil sa mas madiin kung magpatama ng suntok si Mercito Hesta, sa round 3, pipiliin ni Barnett na dumaban ng may distansya. That time Barnett tried to meet Hesta when he came in. And he touches him with that right hand. That time, a little more offensive and it served him well. Right, right hand, it was that nice short right uppercut. And he has not moved. Good in fighting by Hesta. Oh, oh, oh good Nets. shot by Barnett. Barnett's doing a good body shot. When was it that you sparred with Hesta, Shane? Uh, it was about a year ago. And when I sparred with him, I thought he fought kind of like Pacquiao. And I know that he doesn't really want to be, you know, considered like Pacquiao, but it's... It's true. He has the same kind of meaning. There's a good straight right hand moments ago by Barnett and Hesta seemingly unaffected. And now he jumps in with a left hand. That's a Pacquiao thing right there. Jumping in with a left hand, right? Jumping in. Uh, I think Pacquiao did some kickboxing as well, so maybe that's why they fight similar. Pretty entertaining third round there. Round 5 nagpatuloy ang magandang atake ni Hesta sa laban. Makakailang ulit nitong natamaan ng mga sulitong patama si Barnett na siguradong nagpayanig ng gusto sa US fighter. Barnett's in trouble. 
Forced back on wobbly legs. He tried to duck oh, and wheel out of there. Did you see his legs just go like loose spaghetti? Pesta's getting after him right there. Yeah, a right, right, right hand comes in. Right there, it's hurt. Mercito Hesta. No mercy. His nickname, he's got a minute 30 and change to work it that way. Yeah, has it is to take his time and place his shots the right way. If not, Barnett can get out this round and maybe clear his head. Um, right um, hand up top. It's a little more wiry. Oh, he met him that time as he tried to time a right hand. Been a dominating fifth round by the unbeaten Filipino. Pesto. Too much head hunting here, Shane. Should he be going to the body? He should be going to the body a little bit more uh, to set up the head shot because now he's looking for the shot. Garnett. That's the thought Somehow, that he... some way. <laughs> Oh, he survived this and then steady himself. Ang mga sumunod na round ay talaga namang hitik sa aksyon para sa dalawang buksingero. Pagamat sa mga panahong ito, alam na kung sino ang may malakas na kamao, nagpakita naman ng kanyang tibay sa laban ang US fighter. Flip the guard with a straight left. Look at his jab. He's trying to keep him off balance. He's trying not to get hit with those big shots like that. with a lead left hand and then came back with a right. The Sipas did a great job of coming over that jab. Right to the inside. Is he to his, to his uh, trainer? Is he the jab? Oh, he was hurt badly at the end of round five. Hesta in control, so Ty Barnett, that time of the fight where I ask you, Shane, give me hope. You said earlier, listen, he does have power. He can connect. Can he pull it off here late? It could because Hester right now is not really paying attention. He's just paying attention to what he wants to do. And he's hitting with great left hands like that. If he, keep, left hand that time. if he keeps getting hit with those type of left hands, this fight might be over. Last from the uh, early 90s right through to this past spring. And now your son is doing his thing. And now he's boxing. Hopefully he can uh, live up to, you know, to Shane. I don't like to say sugar Shane. Shane both of you. Okay, I'll bring down. End of round eight. You really have to go for it. I'm not going to lie to you. Sa round 9, nagpatuloy ang agresibong atake ni Hesta sa lumalambot ang depensa ni Barnett. Napili tamang naghahanap ng pagkakataon para puntusan ang ating pambato. Pagamat sa mga oras na ito, kontrolado na ang Hesta ang bakbakan, hindi tumigil ang Pinoy para tapusin na ang laban. Hesta really sit down on that left hand and then try to lift his head with a right uppercut. Garnett came in with a body shot. Hester was quick to answer. Yeah, just firing off that right hand. Oh, oh, oh and then he came with the left of the body and a quick sweeping right hand. He's swinging for the fences. He was right there with that left hand. You can see some swelling around the eyes of Ty Barnett. There are brief shining moments of Mercito Hesta where I really like what I see. Yeah. And then there are moments where he lingers oh, and he just oh, found one of those oh, moments there where you oh. gotta love what you see as he looks to close the show. Wow. What an offensive explosion from the Filipino. Six, seven, eight, nine, you okay? Are you sure? Okay. Can he finish him? Big right hand. He goes down at the bell. You cannot be saved on the bell. He needs to rise up and beat the count. Six, seven, eight, Fight is over. Sa atin din ang atake ng Pinoy sa huminang depensa ni Barnett, tinamaan ng sulidong left hook ang US fighter. At dahil sa nasundan pa ito ng sunod-sunod na patama sa ulo, napabagsak ni Hesta ang Amerikano. Nagawa mang makatayo ni Barnett sa laban, wala na itong kontrol sa balanse. 
Kaya naman ang sunod-sunod itong tamaan ni Hesta sa mga huling segundo ng bakbakan. Sa pangalawang pagkakataon, bungo lagtapa upo si Barnett sa laban. Dito na sasampa sa ibabaw ng lona ang grupo ng US Fighter. Para ipatigil na ang laban at mailayo na sa anumang kapamakampa ang kanilang pambato. As Duke Buchanan was trying to enter the ring to take care of his charge, Ty Barnett is still unsteady as Hesta celebrating. He just got pummeled there. Ang panalong ito ni Mercedes Hesta ang kanyang ikadalumput ani na sudut na panalo. Ito rin ang panalong nagbigay ng pagkakataon kay Mercedes Hesta para mapalaban sa kanyang kauna unang laban sa pandaig digang kampiyonato. Kung saan binigo naman ang Mexican fighter na si Miguel Vasquez at ibigay sa Pinoy ang kanyang kauna-unahang pagkatalo. Your winner, by way of technical knockout, Mexican!